I'm Dave. And I'm Lou. And this is Title Time. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? Great. I'm, I'm, not, I'm you know, always good, right? <laughs> you, you are always good. <laughs> I'm always good. Well, um, you know, I get a lot of questions and one of them, usually it's from the sellers or the buyers. Why am I paying this? And what? So tell me, what are some of the things that sellers have to pay for as far as the title is concerned? Well, a seller, um, if they're paying for title insurance, mm -hmm. then they're going to pay for the title search and the owner's title policy. Okay. Um, but they're also going to pay a closing fee to us. Okay. And then if they have any documents that have to be recorded, they'll pay for the recording fee and the electronic fee on that. Okay. And then typically a seller will also pay for the doc stamps on the deed, okay. which is a percentage of the purchase price. Okay. And so you know, what, what could a seller expect to pay, uh, assuming that their house is maybe $500,000? Is that, is that an easy question Well, to I would need a calculator to kind of figure that, but um, typically the, the closing fee doesn't change, the recording fees don't change if they're, you know, it's like $10 for the first page, eight fifty dollars for the second. And then doc stamps and title insurance, remember, are always based on the purchase price. Right. And then the other thing I forgot to say was that they would pay for like, if there's estoppel fees, if they live in a homeowner's association, True. we have to get from the homeowner's association that they're up to date and there's no violations, you know, that kind of thing. No assessments, special right. assessments. So that usually, um, most HOAs charge about $250 a piece. That seems to be the going rate. Yeah. 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 How about buyers? What do, what do the buyers have to pay for? Buyers, um, if they're a cash buyer, they really only have a closing fee. Okay. And then um, between a buyer and seller, we're also going to prorate those taxes and HOAs. Okay. So if sellers already paid something, buyer would pay back and vice versa. Um, but if they're getting a loan, a buyer would have to pay their loan costs, which come from their lender. Okay. And their lender tells us those. And then they would pay for a simultaneous issue on a lender's title policy. So that means that the, the seller is buying an owner's title policy. Because we've already searched that title, mm -hmm. then we can give a policy to the lender ensuring that they're in first lien position. And we do that at a, at a lot lower rate. Great. All right. Well, thank you for that, Lou. Uh, we will see you again next week.